Even before we were created, the Father loved the Son. I was daily His delight. And yet, I cannot understand how it pleased the Father to crush His Son. So I asked the Lord for this many years ago. And then one day, I remember, uh, I think it was during the Christmas time, and we were going for some, like many of you, last minute Christmas shopping. And at the time, Jessica was about three years old. And uh, we parked our car at a car park somewhere. And then we went to the mall, quite a distance away. On the way back, all right, there was a lot to carry. Wendy was carrying in her hands and uh, some, some, some bags and I was carrying both hands and Jessica got tired. So I, of course, the strong father would want to carry the daughter, right? And she, she wants to sleep. So I, I pick her up, my hands full, and almost immediately, she fell asleep on my shoulder. I could hear her heavy breathing. And then I realized where I parked my car was really far away. Oh my goodness, every step was a struggle. It's maybe a heavy, you know, share a big, very cute, adorable child, but she was heavy. And then I could actually relieve my, my pain by putting her down. I have to wake her up and make her walk. But then I love her too much. And I felt as I carried her on one arm with my hands full of bags and Wendy's hands were full of bags, I felt like my arm was going numb. And that's not so bad. The next stage was the worst pins and needles, you know? And I, I had to keep it from trembling. And all the while so that I can hear her heavy breathing and I just love her so much. Then I realized that Isaiah 53 opens up. Isaiah 53 that says, it pleased the Lord to crush him. It opens up by saying, to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? In other words, to whom shall God reveal his son? But here he calls his son, his arm. He says, do you love your daughter? I said, yes, so much that I would rather crush my arm than to wake her up. Then I realized that God would crush His Son because of His love for me.